Bob Maloney from MyMMANews.com. And coming up at Art of War 29, we have a 165-pound advanced amateur championship. And in one corner, we have Isaiah the Milkman Herring. And in the other corner, we have our guest tonight out of NPR, MMA, and Endurance, Chase Smaller. Chase, man, how you feeling? It's always great to talk to you. You've been in the sport a little longer now, getting some experience. How's things, my man, going into fight week? Uh, I mean, it's normal. Probably a tougher camp than usual. Like, definitely amped up the um, sparring and all the hard training and overall technical work. So uh, it's been a little rough. I'm a little tired. I just really want to, you know, beat the crap out of this guy and kind of go home. You know, that's really where I'm at. Well, you have three fights now, so we're, we we uh, can and, and you've been doing some grappling. Tell me some of the things you know the the you know you, even though you're still young and learn. Tell me you know, a couple of things that you know now that you've been in there and had three fights that is a little bit different or harder than you thought when you first got involved. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit harder, like the work you put in and stuff like that. I always thought you had to like devote yourself like a hundred percent if you want to be good at something, but it definitely takes a toll on your body. I'm not going to lie. Like coming out bruised every like training session or beat up is it's definitely a little mentally taxing. You just kind of want to like, you know, middle camp. You're like, I can't, I can't wait just to fight this guy already. And, you know, just kind of like beat his ass and just move on. Yeah, listen, the grind, man. It is a grind, and uh, you're learning, and you're learning with some good guys. Listen, what's, talk to me about this beef you had with Isaiah Herring. He said you were kind of like giving him a hard time at the press conference, and, and t- you tell me how, you know, because I, I love, I love, you know, I, re- I remember seeing these two going back and forth, but you tell me, you know, what you remember and how this all got started. Uh, I mean, I knew he was like another guy that was like around my weight, like Jill told me since she's like the matchmaker. So I kind of when I saw him fight, I had like my eyes set on like someone I want to fight next because like I had like a recent injury and it was like around December. So I really didn't know what I was going to do. And when he called me out, I was already booked to fight. So it was like a weird scenario. But the beef, I mean... I just think he's a corny guy. I'm not going to lie to you. His nickname is the milkman. Like, why is your nickname the milkman, bro? Like, you're a little strange. I'm not going to lie to you, you know? Like, I just think the guy's a cornball, honestly. And, like, I just can't wait to punch him in his face. Hey, well, listen, I, I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited to do it. Talk to me. Okay, listen, you said this camp has been the hardest. Talk to me a little bit about Eric and how he, how he or, or your coaches, how they've, you know, you know, prepared you for that. Like, in other words, it's been really the, the grind talk to you mentally through it get you get you to the you know it's fight week man talk to me you know, what's going on this, this this week to get you ready for the fight um what's get me ready for the fight is i guess well this week is mainly just the wake up but we've really been game planning especially me and my striking coach uh johannes have to we've really been working on like mapping stuff out and figuring out like when's the right time to use this technique or that technique and really mapping out like my game plan for like fights moving on now. Like he just kind of overall like developed my whole game. Like my whole striking game is way better than it used to be. Like, I think that last fight did it in justice of the work me and Johannes did because of the, the late replacement. And that it just totally like threw me off. So I would definitely like to showcase like everything I could do this fight. Like, I feel like I'm way more well-rounded in general. And I feel like that's where my skills are. I can basically do everything. I can strike, I can grapple, I can wrestle. I have cardio, like wherever the fight goes, I I'm, I'm very comfortable with whatever happens there. Well, listen, the last fight that, that I called and you were at, I, I did notice, I mean, you're striking. I thought that you had some, your hands you had you you were able to use your hips you you had some power behind your strikes i really like the process you know the advancement and the process of it and i'm glad you keep working on that what's mr herring in for and you know it's it's advanced amateur so there's takedowns now with 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 striking on the ground there's there's longer rounds what what's the milkman in for come Come Friday in South Philadelphia on a waterfront with Mike Pickings in the house at Art of War Cage Fighting 29. 
Uh, the milkman's in for just a smoke overall. Like he can, if he wants to wrestle me, I would like to see him shoot a takedown. That would be the funniest thing I'd ever see in my life. Okay. If he wants to strike, I'll strike with him, but I know he isn't going to wrestle me. I know that's his game plan. His whole coaches are talking this and that yada, yada. Oh, we got to work on our wrestling. Well, we'll see your wrestling buddy Friday night. We'll figure out what will happen. When we get in that cage. Okay. So like, even if for, for some reason, I can't take you down. I'm prepared to go wherever this fight goes, grappling, striking, wherever. Like, let's, let's see what you got. That's just my thought process. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, do you want to say hello or thank you to anybody before we rock UFC 288 tonight? I'll be watching. Chase is just hanging out and he's going fight week and Chase, give some love out, my man. Um, I really like to thank obviously my family and my grandmother and my mom. Um, I like to thank obviously Johannes. He's been a major role in me getting my, my hands better. I uh, also thank Eric Purcell and I also like to thank my friend Lex Ludlow for uh, getting a lot of training in, getting extra sparring rounds and just guys in general, like Dan, Antonio, like all these guys have been helping me come in and put in the work whenever I need to. So I really appreciate it. I will listen. And shout out my sponsor, Vershawn TF, uh, Tershawn VFW and Finney McGee's. I'm not wearing that green shirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Listen, and thank you for those to those sponsors. Thank you for supporting regional MMA and these fighters. They need it. It means a lot to them. They work hard trying to, you know, like he was talking about earlier in the interview, the, the, the grind, man, and it's there. And Chase, appreciate the hard work and appreciate you doing that grind. You know, you bring some personality to the sport and to the cage, and it's fun. I enjoy following you. I, I, I think you had a great future in the sport, and I'm looking forward to uh to, to see in that 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 future advance so great talking to you and uh best of skill see and get past that weight cut i did get some smiles out of you even though i know you said you're pretty miserable because uh because you're hungry but you know we'll get past that and uh talk to you soon my man